Hello guys, it's Johnny time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we will learn how to connect the Trezor device to your MetaMask wallet in order to start sending transactions to dApps and DeFi applications and smart contracts and use the Trezor in Web3 to buy NFTs, to add liquidity, to swap tokens, to stake tokens, to lend, to borrow, all the cool things that you do in DeFi. Now you're gonna do them in a secure way using the Trezor wallet instead of a software wallet, which is private keys located in your memory and can be hacked, now it's safe with the treasure so if this is something that you might be interested in make sure to subscribe to the channel for more educational content that i will post in the future now without further ado let's get started All right, so step one is basically simple as connecting the Trezor wallet to your computer using the USB cable, USB that you got when you got the Trezor pack. When the Trezor is connected, you're gonna click here on your Chrome browser on the MetaMask extension wallet. And this is just my wallet, just an example wallet. Don't worry, I don't really have 10K ETH in real life. It's just hard it example chain for development but you're gonna click here okay on this kind of avatar on the top right corner and then you're gonna click here connect hardware wallet this is the connect hardware wallet page and now you want to pick treasure because it simply has a treasure wallet continue and now you need to pair your device to the metamask wallet okay so you're gonna click here pair device by the way guys if you still don't have a hardware called wallet don't wait this is just a small investment that will make all your crypto much safer and always make sure that you buy this kind of trezor device from the official trezor website and not from some kind of sellers suspicious sellers or even not ebay and amazon because someone may alter with your hardware with your firmware and if you want to help me out just check the description i have a link to the official trezor website so once you use this wheel you're also helping me and saying basically thank you for creating this free educational content and you will pay the same price but i will get a small commission it's called affiliate link and it will help me to scale up my channel and keep going and creating more free educational content and you need to allow basically to the extension to access the device that is connected to the computer you're gonna click here the button check for devices and select the trezor wallet now if the trezor is not visible in this kind of screen make sure to reconnect it disconnect and connect and if it still doesn't work make sure that the trezor Trezor suit app, the app that controls the Trezor is turned off because sometimes it controls over the Trezor and then the MetaMask and Chrome browser cannot access it. Once you've done that, you can click here Trezor and connect. Now you have two options to allow it only once for this session or click here the check button. Don't ask me again. So it will not, you will not have to reconnect it again and again. I'm going to check this button and click here allow for this device. Now you have to click export public key, the green big button. And once you click export public key, you will have to supply the Trezor pass first that you used in order to set up the Trezor wallet. So I'm just gonna type it in real quick and click enter, of course. Now you have to follow some instructions on the device. You just have to confirm the exposure of the others, the public others to the extension wallet. So you cannot see it right here, but it says access hidden wallet. Next screen will show the passwords and you click here, confirm and confirm. You confirm it twice using clicking the right button here on your Trezor wallet. And that's basically it. Now you can select any account that is connected to your Trezor wallet to be reflected on the MetaMask wallet. Usually, if you have Ether and tokens, it will be the first one, but you can use multiple accounts. I'm just gonna select this, the first one and click here, unlock. And that's it, guys, congratulations. Now your Trezor wallet is connected to MetaMask and you can use it to send transaction to smart contracts and decentralized applications. Now, if you click here on the MetaMask account, you can switch accounts and you can see here I have multiple accounts. And if I scroll down, I have Trezor one and you can see here this kind of a label that says that this is a Trezor hardware wallet. Now, anytime you want to send transactions from the Trezor account, the Trezor wallet to the blockchain, you have to select here the Trezor account and confirm the transaction twice. Once in the MetaMask wallet and secondly on the Trezor 
wallet itself with a confirm button if you want to learn more how it works and why it's very very secure check out my other video tutorials i put links in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below super super easy tutorial but if you have any questions ask them in the comments or the discord community and if you enjoy this video and it helps you leave a like it really really helps and subscribe to the channel for more educational content in the video Thank you so much and I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye-bye.